This video was brought to you by my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. Hello there! Continuing the series where we are talking about design patterns, today we will see a very interesting pattern because the problem that it solves is very, very common, but we often just ignore the problem. But without further ado, let's get started. So, we are talking about the no object pattern. A pattern that is not very well spread, not everyone knows about it, but it has some documentation we'll see in one of the books that we are using here in this series, that it has a very well defined description and application of this pattern. So let's see its definition. So the new object pattern intends to encapsulate the absence of an object by providing a substitutable alternative that offers suitable defaults to a nothing behavior, to something that doesn't do anything. And we can see uh, the problem here that uh, given that an object reference may be optionally no, and that the result of a no check is to do nothing or use some default value, how can the absence of an object, the presence of a no reference, be treated transparently? So if you are not used to this problem, uh, the checks of no and the usage of no values, it's very well known by experienced developers that the usage of no is something that we should avoid because if you have some checks for if you receive something that is no or if you, some value is no, uh, it's probably because you have some problems in your design, in the design of your code. To the point that on GDQuest guidelines, so I will put a link in the description for this, uh, we explicitly say that you should avoid the no usage like a plague, like you should avoid it at all costs and instead you should try to use alternative for that. You should only use no if you are forced to. Uh, we also have a reference for talk that the guy that created the no references uh, gave that he says that this is a mistake, the no reference shouldn't even exist. So, with that said, let's go back to the new object patterns and try to implement them in Godot Engine. So, here we are in Godot Engine. For the implementation of this new object pattern, I will actually use the previous video uh, project for the, the command pattern. If you didn't watch this video, please go there and watch it, because uh, you will need to understand what this project does to understand the power of the new pattern. So just pause the video here, watch the card that is appearing on your screen right now, watch the video and go back here. So let's continue. Uh, we have here some commands for the actor. So we have a walk command and we have some inherited scenes for this walk command. Each scene walks toward a direction. And here we have a command, a actor command, that is the parent class of this uh, walk command. So let's open the actor, uh, actor here. And if you remember, we have a button for each of these commands. So we have a button that receives a command and when it is pressed, it adds this command to the command queue. Okay, so we have here in the actor, we have a add command to, and each of these buttons will add this command to the command queue when they are pressed. Let's create a new command here. So I'll create a new inherited scene, new inherited scene, commands, uh, actor command and I will call this the no actor command you can call this uh, no actor command but I will call this just no and we will extend this script so we will extend the actor command script and instead of save this here I will save it uh, let me actually just save the scene because it will be better so I will save this on the no folder here so we'll have the no actor command scene and let's extend this script to have a no actor command class okay so if we go here in the actor command which is basically just an interface for the actor commands we have a execute and an unexecute method so let's copy these methods there uh, if you think about it Basically, the, the, the interface that we have here, because it's not an actual interface, it already applies the no behavior or a behavior that doesn't do anything because we are just passing when we call these methods. But just for understand this no object pattern, let's go back to the no actor command. And instead of having this pass, which is used in the parent class for just abstract the methods that it shouldn't show have, uh, we will instead just have some doc strings here that says that this doesn't do anything 
and the same thing uh, down here so copy this and paste it and there we have we have the no actor command object back to the actor let's create a a button here that will receive this uh, no command you can think about this pattern as something that you can implement an interface or so something like this because the no object will not do anything so it just like if you are just making a concrete class that is just the, the interface so you don't do anything but you can use it as a concrete implementation of the interface so if i go here and add a new button so i will just duplicate this and say nothing oops say nothing here and this nothing will receive the no command so let's go back here drag and drop this here and there we have it so we have the nothing command here drag this here um, maybe here so this will be something like uh, nothing so when we press this it the, the character will not do anything uh, you can say that this will basically just tell the character to wait but this wait behavior is not contained in the command so it's not something that the command does the command doesn't do anything but the since we implemented this command queue to wait for uh, 0.5 seconds we can say that it will make the character wait but note that this behavior is not a part of the new command this is a part of other class that doesn't have to do anything with the new command but in the new command itself it doesn't do anything so we can use it as being just a placeholder for something or basically for something that doesn't do anything you can think about it like that uh, if you want your character to not perform something so let's say uh, at some point uh, you pick a debuff or something like this and the character cannot move anymore you can just place a new command a no command here in each of these buttons and the player will not be able to walk for some time and then you can go back and inject the previous command back into these buttons but uh, I will save this let's go back to the, the game and now we have this up left down right and do nothing so if we play this uh, I'll tell it to go to the right right down nothing up left okay so if you go here in the remote we have the game then the grid the actor and then the command queue so we will walk right we will walk right again down then we won't do anything then walk up walk left so let's go back to, to the game itself and play it and you see that we had a small delay there so uh, it's the new command being performed so I will unplay this again so we will have it backwards and you can see that this no command was performed so this is the new object pattern so I think that this wasn't enough to understand the power of the new object pattern so I will go back here in the actor let's try to understand why you should avoid new usage uh, if we don't have anything here so let's say we just are trying to mock up this uh, this project let's say we are just designing the the project and we just want to see if the classes are behaving like they should but we don't want to actually make an implementation a hardcore implementation so if you go here in the commands and in the walk command uh, let's say we have a very uh, complex behavior that we will have to implement but at this point of the development we don't want to spend time thinking about implementation we just want to see how is the relationship between two classes so in this case between the button class and the command class so instead of having concrete implementations of the behavior that we are expecting we can just create a new command and since this new command will uh, let me open the new command here and since this new command will actually have the methods that we are calling in the commands we can say okay we don't want to actually see the the character walking or we don't want to actually see how the object behaves we just want to see if these classes if the button and the command kill and the commands are interacting as they should so uh, we can just make a new object and we drag and drop it to to here because if we don't have an implementation of a command yet so uh, let's say we have this button 
but we don't have anything to use here so if we go here in the game and test it we actually have a new value here if we print this value we will have a new value in this command variable so if we try to execute this we will have an error see uh, we have a non-existent function instance in base new and this is the the danger of the new value because uh, sometimes we actually just want to see how uh, something works or we just want a default behavior or we just want to actually have something in our logic because the the concept of nothingness the concept of not having something to work on is very dangerous it's actually uh we can say that this is a logic failure you can say that your logic work if you expect that you are working with nothing so uh, let's say here we are saying uh, let's say here and we have a check for this so if a command is uh, is equal to no we will return uh, why are we checking for this why are we expecting that we not have something to work on you can see that this is a failure of logic you can think about hey why do you create something that at some point don't don't have anything why you expect to not have something in this you see how this this new usage is dangerous because it makes you think that your logic works but if you at some point of your logic of your code you expect that you will add something and this something is not doesn't exist why are you checking for this because if you are calling this method you should pass something to this you should have something concrete that you will work upon so it's basically a nonsense to say that to check if something is no because if this is true so if this comment is true uh, there is some failure in your logic you are asking something to add in this case you are adding a command and this command is nothing so uh, why are you trying to add nothing into this so this is nonsense you, you, you can see how this is this doesn't make any sense and this is it well, I hope you like this kind of discussion. I really uh, enjoyed making this no object pattern because this enlightened me in so many ways. Uh, I have many, many checks for no values in my codes. And I think that basically every single one of them could be uh, replaced with a better logic. And uh, I think that at some point I could even use the new object pattern. But anyway, if you have some doubts or if you have questions or if I said something wrong here, I have many other examples of the new object usage so you can ask for them as well. For this, you can use the comments below. If you're liking this series of design patterns, leave a thumbs up. This will help me stay focused on making this kind of content for you. And also, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe as well because then you will receive notifications when I release a new video about this kind of content. And by the way, if you really appreciate my work, if you really like what I'm doing here, you can support me by becoming one of my patrons. Which, by the way, let's welcome Francisco Dias, my newest patron. Thank you so much for joining us. And this is it. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep developing and until the next time.